Hi, I'm Joe Balk of the Joe Balk Band. I thought it would be good to explain the albums contained in my audio Bible. Modern Bibles have copyrights. I spent a couple of months working with a Bible publisher trying to understand how I could sing the Bible to music without violating their copyright. The solution was quite simple, but very time consuming. I was not allowed to use a copyrighted Bible verbatim. Every verse had to be revised in order to avoid lawsuits. I did these revisions a number of ways. There are many versions of the Bible. <clears throat> different versions of the Bible use different words to describe the same thing. They use synonyms. They switch phrases around. So I did the same thing. When speaking of someone, the Bible uses the third person. For example, Paul went to such and such a place. He, that's third person. My album on Paul from the book of Acts is sung in the first person. I went to such and such a place. I did this with all albums about a person. Jacob, Joseph, Ruth, King David, Jesus, Peter, and Paul. The album Creation Destruction, which are the stories of creation, Adam and Eve and Noah, are in the first person, with God as that person. For example, the Bible, in the beginning God created. I sang, in the beginning I created. I hope you do not find this offensive. Entros and conclusions in albums about a person are not scripture. I use them to set up the story, which is scripture. In the New Testament letters, Romans through Revelation, I use every verse and every chapter, with the exception of Romans and 1 Corinthians, in which I left out some of the last chapter in each because they contain personal greetings from Paul, and I did not feel it necessary to include them. In albums about a person, I only used passages that dealt directly with that person. The Jesus album uses passages from all four Gospels. My goal with this project was to create an entertaining way to become familiar with the Bible for those who haven't read it. Although I have read the Bible many times, I find the song speaking to me in ways that I didn't expect. I have found myself both being comforted and challenged as I listen to them. This audio Bible covers the first book of the Bible, Genesis, the second book, Exodus, and Joshua. These three books cover creation through Israel entering the Promised Land. The New Testament contains the story of Jesus taken from the four Gospels. Although I haven't recorded Matthew, Mark, and Luke yet, I have recorded the Gospel of John. The books of Acts, <laughs> the book of Acts covered in the albums Peter and Paul and all of the letters. As new albums are created, they will be added automatically. I do hope that you find some value in this effort to expose more people to the Bible by making it more enjoyable and entertaining. Thank you for watching this.